Following the previous section with regards to safety concerning the Hydroform interlocking block making machine, I will now take you through a tour of the Hydroform interlocking block making machine and show you the different components involved with the machine. First of all, when the machine is on site, we need to set up the machine to stand in a sturdy position. When we operate the machine, there's a lot of moving parts on the machine. This, for this reason, the machine is equipped with four corner legs or stands indicated on this side of the machine and it's situated on this side of the machine. Lower these legs and make sure that the machine is standing still before operating the machine. In order for the hydroform interlocking block making machine to work properly, it is equipped with a hydraulic oil tank. The hydraulic oil is the blood of the machine. The hydraulic oil is indicated by a gauge showing the level of the oil. Before operation, make sure that there is enough hydraulic oil in the hydraulic oil tank. Switching on your machine, you would also want to check that all the connectors pumping hydraulic oil to the various parts of the machine is properly connected. If you find that the connector is leaking, you can always tighten the connector to make sure that there is no leak on it. With regards to service, on top of the hydraulic oil tank, there is a hydraulic oil filter. This filter you can replace every six months. Moving on, we need to circulate the hydraulic oil to the moving parts of the machine and for that the machine is equipped with either an electric motor like the one we see here or a diesel motor. When you order your Hydroform interlock block making machine, make sure to specify whether you choose a diesel driven machine or an electrically driven machine. Advantage of a diesel motor is that it makes the machine more mobile. The electric motor, on the other hand, is quiet, but keep in mind that it needs 380 volt three phase power supply. If you equip your Hydroform interlocking block making machine with a diesel motor, remember that the diesel motor needs to be serviced at specific intervals. For more information on that, make sure to book your two week training course at the Hydroform Academy and we will take you through the whole, whole process. You can also book on-site training, contact Hydroform for more information with regards to that. Moving on from the motor, pumping the hydraulic oil to the remainder of the machine, we need to control the operations of the machine. For that reason, the machine is equipped with control levers. The control levers controls the top ram of the machine and it controls the bottom ram of the machine. The top ram of the machine and the bottom ram of the machine moves inside the chamber of the machine. The chamber of the machine is most probably the most important part of the interlocking block making machine. Inside the chamber there's four wear plates. We can also call the wear plates molds. They give the block its specific size and shape. Due to the material we, we use and the corrosive nature of the soil, the wear plates wear away and it's important to notice that they need to be replaced periodically. In order to replace your wear plates, contact Hydroform sales office in South Africa. Moving on from the chamber, we find the soil hopper or soil loader. This is where we will load soil into in order to feed the machine soil to manufacture the blocks we require. Going around the machine to the back, we find the pan mixer. Please take note of the safety with regards to the pan mixer. The pan mixer we will handle in the sections to follow when we do mixing of our soil and our cement. The Hydroform interlocking block making machine is a large capital investment. It is important that you look after your machine. What do you need to do? On a daily basis, clean the whole machine properly. When you're not using your Hydroform machine, make sure that the top ram is closed and the bottom ram is in the down position. This protects your hydraulics from the environment. Also, when you're not using your Hydroform machine, 
just move the hydraulic levers in order to remove all pressure from the hydraulic hoses. As previously mentioned, your M7 Hydroform interlocking block making machine can be ordered in electrical version or diesel version. What you see here is the diesel motor. Discuss this with your sales consultant. Keep in mind that if you purchase the diesel motor, you will have to service this motor on regular intervals. In order to get more information with regards to this, book your training course either at the Hydroform Academy in South Africa or on site.